Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Manchurk, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. We are talking uh, about why can't I change? Why can't we break bad habits? And we've been talking about God's uh, uh, grace and that this is a spiritual issue when we, we, when we want to change. There are reasons that uh, work against us, practical reasons, relational reasons, uh, emotional reasons and physical reasons that make it difficult for us to change. But at the core of, of, of the difficulty to change is a spiritual issue. And I really agree uh, with uh, several pastors <laughs> who have written books on change and, and that it, it, at, at the core, it is a uh, issue of, of spirituality. And so in that realm, we, we are to receive God's grace. Now, grace is freely given to us. It's not something that we can earn. Grace is the unmerited goodwill and favor, the love of God, which is unmerited and unearned. There isn't anything that we can do to earn that grace. Grace is God's favor. It's God's power. It's God's strength. And the good news is it's all a gift to us. So we in the United Methodist Church have a very uh, uh, distinct, I believe, uh, sense of what God's grace is. West, John Wesley um, spoke about this. Uh, we believe uh, that grace is, the, is exactly the, the thing that we need to rely on in terms of our faith, in terms of living our lives, in terms of making changes in our lives. So we believe that grace is freely given from God even before we know that God exists. We name that grace prevenient grace, grace which is which goes before us, prevenient, goes before us. So prevenient grace is God's love and mercy and, uh, and uh, care for us even before we know God exists. I said in the message that that is why we, United Methodist, are proponents of, of, of infant baptism because we are living our belief that God loves a child before that child has done anything to, to in response to that grace. We can't earn it, but, but the child has no, no um, idea that there's even a God. I mean, a child is a child. They're very self-absorbed, very, <laughs> I need this. I need to cry so that you'll give me what I need. I need you to comfort me. I'm dependent on you for everything. Well, God's grace is still upon that child, even uh, before that child responds to that grace, which then brings me to justifying grace. Justifying grace is the moment in time when you align yourself with God's ways, with, with God's will for your life, with God's teachings. We call it justifying grace. You're bringing yourself in alignment like a justified edge of a, of, of a paper or on your computer, justified edge, you know, it's all in a straight line. So you are aligning yourselves with God's ways, with God's teachings. And then, uh, as I like to say, our faith is a moment and a lifetime. That moment is justifying grace. When we, when we align ourselves with God, sanctifying grace then is the process of living out that decision to follow God. So when you're being sanctified, you're continually growing, you're continually uh, deepening your faith and your relationship with God through Jesus Christ. You are, you are aligning yourselves with, uh, with the, the power of God's Holy Spirit in your life. So just recognize that that, that wonderful uh, grace of God, which is prevenient, which is justifying, which is sanctifying. And that's how you begin to understand this free gift that comes from God. It is grace. And the good news, which we're going to talk about a little bit more tomorrow, is that the grace that saves you is the grace that will sustain you. This grace that that means to you a wholeness of your life. That's what salvation means, by the way. Are you saved? Well, yeah, yeah. Saved, being saved just simply means that you are whole, that you've given yourself over to God and you recognize your wholeness and God's love for you.
that unmerited, unearned, beautiful, and, and empowering love of God. So I hope that uh, it, it's helpful for you to think about that grace and how God loves you even before you know God exists. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for all that you've done for us, even before we ask. And as we learn of this great grace of yours, this great unmerited love and compassion for each and every one of us, may we, may we then justify ourselves in response to your grace, not because you force us, or because you, uh, uh, you know, we, we we're going to try to earn it, but simply because it is your gift to us. We ask for that gift. We receive that gift. In the name of Christ our Lord, and by the power of our Holy Spirit, of your Holy Spirit, may we live our lives in response to that great grace empowered by your Spirit. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hey, friends, have a great Thursday, and God bless you.